In 1968, the Youth International Party candidate for U.S. President was Pegasus the Immortal. Had Pegasus won, his cabinet would certainly have included Yippie co-founder Paul Krasner. Now nearing 80 years old, Paul Krasner is still an active writer and stand-up comic, and he's featured in the most recent edition of Playboy magazine. From his home in Desert Hot Springs, California, Paul told me about the connection he sees between the Occupy movements and the Yippies. We had to do stunts in order to get media attention, whereas the Occupiers went into their action and then the media finally came into it. When they saw that there was a police violence, that gave them a real excuse to, uh, to recognize something so significant. Uh, so uh, the Yippies went to the stock market uh, and uh, went upstairs to the balcony and had $200 worth of uh, singles, which we threw down onto the floor below with all these Mac adults, uh, you know, yelling, pork bellies, pork bellies. Uh, and suddenly these dollar bills came, uh, actual money, not anything abstract that they deal with all day long. They suddenly morphed into diving for dollars. It was a great event because they just uh, acted spontaneously at symbols of their greed. After that, we had a press conference outside the stock market where we uh, talked about the connections between what goes on in the stock market and the then war in Vietnam. So I feel a strong sense of continuity now with Occupy Wall Street. 